friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and I'm going to make a bit of a special dinner tonight. I've got some lots of potatoes, and we don't eat a lot of potatoes. I'm going to have Papa barbecue some goat steaks on the barbecue that I have marinating, and we're going to have steamed asparagus and fondant potatoes with thyme. All right, let's get started. Now first, we're going to take you're going to use, these better be russet potatoes. Yes, they are. You need russet potatoes for this recipe. First, we're going to cut the ends off. And then we're going to peel them all the way down. For this recipe, you're going to need a sprig or two, thank you, Mommy, of fresh thyme. You're going to need, for us, I'm going to say four russet potatoes. You're going to need a knob of butter, so to speak, apparently, according to uh, my friend um, Shalimar Perfume sent me the video that I will put a link to, who he does it as well, where she gave me the idea. Now we're just going to cut these in half, and we're going to put them in a bowl of water, cold water, because we want them to, we want to leach out a bit of the starch. All right, we'll see you guys at the stove. Okay, now we have our potatoes and we've taken them out, um, put them on a paper towel, and we've put about a half a cup of sunflower oil in the frying pan and we're heating it up nice and hot. When it gets nice and shiny and you want the bottom of your frying pan to be completely covered and about an eighth of an inch of oil. And we're just going to, let's test it. That's the sound we want. We're just going to set these in our cast iron skillet. Now, these would have been a whole lot prettier if the potatoes had been bigger, but that's okay. And this is a patience thing, folks. Now we're just going to put a little bit of salt on each potato top. And a little bit of poivre or pepper. And we're going to turn that down to medium high. And we're just going to let these cook until the bottoms are golden, not golden, we want them nice and toasted brown. All right? All right. Now, I wish I could find my tongs, but I can't. So please, folks, use tongs. I'm going to flip these over because this is the color you want them to be. You want them to be nice and brown on the bottom. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this paper towel and we're going to sop up the oil. Be very, very, very careful. Now that we got most of the oil out of there, we're going to add a knob of butter, which is about a tablespoon and a half. I'm going to put it in the center. And I actually should have done this before I flip the potatoes. So let's just lift them, let the butter get under them. So before you flip your potatoes, drain your oil and then put your knob of butter in. Once again, we want them fairly evenly spaced. We're going to turn this off. And now, we're just going to add a couple of pieces of thyme. And I'm going to pour in about a cup chicken broth. Salt and pepper the tops of your potatoes again. Oh, can you smell that thyme? And we are going to pop this into a 350 degree oven for about a half an hour. We're going to steam some asparagus. Papa's going to take our goat steaks and do them on the barbecue and we'll see you guys at the dinner table.
Hang on. All right. There you go, Papa. This is grilled goat steak, potatoes fondant, and steamed asparagus. And this, this is the thyme butter for pouring on your um, potatoes if you want to slice them, and your asparagus. Oh, I did. Oh. Is that all you're going to eat, Mother? Right now. All right. Taste the, those are fondant potatoes, and it's a three step process to cook those. Mm -hmm. Very tasty. How's your asparagus? And I'm sorry, they marinated all day. There's your baseball goat steak. <laughs> baseball goat steak. So when they're that thick, they call them baseball oh, steaks. David? Okay. Mm. Good? Very nice. There you go. This is the Mrs. Volfi from our Half Acre Homestead saying, just another way to do potatoes.